Among the interviews we're doing with elected officials, we also wanted to hear from both state party chairs. And joining me this hour is the Hawaii Republican Party State Chair, Tamara McKay. Thank you so much for being here with us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Now, this has been a tight presidential race. Tell mm -hmm. us your thoughts about the election and the results. Well, I think it, it's very exciting for many people. Um, we've had a challenging four years with the economy, border security, and so forth. So we're looking forward to that changing and hopefully some more support for the state of Hawaii for many, many reasons. In what ways do you think Hawaii residents might be affected with this new administration under Trump? Well, I'm, I'm hoping it'll be in a positive aspect. We want to get focus on the Jones Act. We would like to bring the economy back in place. Cost of goods and so forth has gone out of place, um, out, of, out of control. So we're hoping that this presidency will help direct Hawaii back into the direction where it should be and bring a lot of those people who have been forced out of the state to leave the state. A lot There's more Hawaiians living in the Las Vegas area, for instance, than do live in Hawaii. Now, up until yesterday, the polls show that the country was very divided. It was almost 50-50. So how is the Republican Party planning to unite the nation going forward? Well, I think that um, all parties need to have the same unity and working together and finding what our commonalities are, faith, family, and freedom, and build on that and put our, our, devices, our divisions aside and our differences aside. Focus on what we can do to build better for our country. It's our, it's our opinions that make us what we are, and we just need to focus on what we can be for America. And, you know, can we also um, talk about the, how there are some people who did not support uh, Trump who say that they are concerned and even frightened, a message to them? Well, I think that a lot of the fear-mongering is, is just that. Wait and see what happens and reap the rewards of this administration because I do believe that there will be many rewards for us to see when we see that we'll go back to being self-sustaining, an independent country be the country that we have been known to be throughout throughout history. And I know that um, we're still, you know, waiting for the final results, but can you tell us how successful were Republican candidates in securing seats in the state legislature level? Um, well, as we said, that there's, we're still waiting for final results, but it's nice to see that uh, a couple of our incumbents have returned. Um, Diamond Garcia, Brenton Ava, Lauren Matsumoto. Um, I noticed that we have a couple new ones, Samantha DeCourt, which I think she's going to be a great asset for us and a great voice. Julie Reyes Oda, Oda she is, she's really a force to be reckoned with. Um, I look forward to seeing who else. It looks like Garna Shimizu has got a very tight race. So I can't wait till the final results, especially for those close races. Of course, we would wanted to see more, but I encourage those. There's a lot of talented people, very passionate. They just don't give up, keep running, because the people just need to know these voices and these faces. Now, Hawaii as a whole has always leaned more towards Democrat, but this election season, do you see that there are more Republican votes? And your thoughts on that? Yeah, I was looking at it, and it seemed that the, the, there's an uptick. You know, uh, in the last race, it looked like there was more about a 25 to 28% um, uh, outcome for Republican votes. Now I see it more to the 30 to 40%. I haven't seen what the final voting cast was. I think it's close to 500,000 or more that have voted, which is a really great outcome. Um, I know that we have over 800,000 registered voters. So the more that we can get out there, it doesn't matter what party you are to exercise your right to vote and speak for what you believe in is so important for our democracy, our republic, I should say. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Get out there and vote. Get out there and vote. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you.